Hello guys, uh, today I am going to show you how you can create a manual fillet, a manual blending to fillet together. So in the left uh, is the original model. Uh, and if I try to using the fillet in these two lines with, uh, I click on the fillet and I try this one, two, three. Okay. And you can see the fillet working fine, but if I double click on the fillet and I try to increase this one to five, and you can see uh, I cannot create uh, a larger fillet using the default fillet tool. So in this tutorial, I will show you how you can create manual fillet. In here, the radius of the fillet is eight. You can increase the radius of the fillet to the number that you want using surface so hope you enjoy the tutorial okay so i start with an empty file and in the product workbench i will create a new sketch in the front view i create polyline something like this and i hit a and I click on this line to add the vertical constraint and this line or horizontal constraint. This one already have the horizontal constraint on it. So I click on this line to add the vertical constraint. Now I select in this point and this point and I hit C to snap it together. I select in this line and hit D and set the distance to 80. And the length of this line is 10. I select in this line and this line and hit E for echo. This line and this line. Hit E. Now the sketch is fully constrained. I close. I select this sketch and go to is true. Let's try 100. And symmetric. Okay. I create, make sure you select nothing and creating a new sketch on the top view. And I view the session. I create a circle on this red line and set the diameter to 40. And the distance from here to here also 40. Close. Now I go to is true. I select this get and go to is true. Let's try 50 and symmetric. Okay. And I control selecting this one and then this one and I go to cut. Okay. Now if I select in this edge and then this edge and I go to the fillet and let's try this one. So you can see the fillet working fine. Now I double click on the fillet and change this one to three. Also good. But if I increase this one up to five, you can see I just fail and I cannot create a, a fillet between, between these two. So, uh, so I will create manual fillet instead. So I click on the fillet and you go to delete it. Now I am um, selecting the cut and I go to the drag workbench. In the drag workbench, I click on creating a new clone and I hide the cut. The reason I create a new clone is that I want to downgrade this one to multiple faces. And if I downgrade the cut, I no longer can go back to the history and change it. So I select in the clone and go to downgrade. Now I have a lot of faces. Uh, I want to work with this face. I select in this face. Selecting this face and selecting this face. And I go to upgrade. 
now I have a new cell and also creating a new group and add everything inside the group okay now I hide everything except for the cell okay next I want to um, create a few let with the radius is 8 so so I will go to the product workbench and let me control selecting this edge and this point and creating a new sketch and I click on the normal to edge and I click OK and I will create in a circle and the diameter will be 16 because the radius I want to fill that is 8 I close now I have this circle in here doing the same in here I control selecting this circle and then this point and creating a new sketch and I click on the normal to edge and I click OK and right here I will create a circle right in the center and set the diameter also 16 close now I go to the sweep I click on the sweep and I click on sketch 002 and I click on the sweep part and I click on this line and hit done and create solid I, I and I uncheck the frame it and I click OK now I have a new sweep I click on the sweep again and double click on the sketch 003 I click on the sweep part and I click on this circle and hit done and create solid and uncheck the frame it click OK all right now I can just select in the cell and the sweep and I go to cut doing the same in here can just select in this uh, cut 001 and this one and just cut again now I can hide these two I select these two circle and I hide it all right the next step is I want to um, write in a blank curve from here to here one blank curve and then I will sweep along this edge So I will create in a blank curve. I go to the surface workbench and I control click on this line and this line and I create in a blank curve. And I click on the blank curve and I zero out the start size and the end size. And for the star parameter, I put this one to one because I select this edge first. Next, I will uh, increase the star size to 1 and the end size to 1. Okay. Now I go back to the product workbench and I go to the sweep, click on the sweep, and I double click on the plane curve and I want to sweep along this edge. I click on the sweep part and I click on this edge and I hit done and okay. Now you can see we just fill this area. The next step is I want to create, I want to create a line. I want to split this surface to have a line in here. And once I have this line, I will use in the blank curve again to connect from here to here. Okay. And when I have this blank curve, I will use this blank curve to sweep around using this uh, arc right here to generate this surface. So I go to the top view and let me create in a new sketch on the top view. And I will reference this line over here. Let me view the session and I create in a line like this 
and this line have the horizontal constraint on it then I click on the line and the point and I hit C to snap it together so you can say this line should touch the this area of the circle I close now I select in this cat and go to is true I screw this one up to, uh, to about 10 is fine and I click OK you can see now I have this is true but you can say this is true touching this uh, surface up here so maybe I click on the is true and bring this one down to 9 OK a little bit shorter and also um, I change the symmetry to true to make sure this uh, is true completely outside of the surface now I can just select in this one which is the cut 002 and this is true and I go to prod and split and then slide to compound okay now you can see I have this line over here next I will create in the plane curve so I go to the surface workbench and I can just select in this line and this line and creating a blank curve and again I click on the blank curve and I zero out the star sign and the end size and for the star uh, parameter I, I click on it and I change this one to 1 and I slowly increase the star sign to 1 you can see 1 is good and the end size also 1 okay now I go to the sweep, I go to the prod workbench and click on the sweep and I double click on the blank curve 001 and then I click on the sweep part and I want to sweep along this edge up here. I click on it and hit done and OK. And you can see if I go to the top view, um, this surface over here this surface over here just go over a little bit so this is pretty nice so I will use this area in the right okay so I will remove uh, the surface in the left and I will mirror this one to the other side so I will cut this one in half so I will create a new sketch in the top view and I will create in a rectangle on top and I close then I will extrude this one I click on the sketch and it will extrude this one to 50 and I click OK then I control select in the sweep 003 which is this surface and control select in the extrude 003 and I go to cut now I just remove uh, the half left of this surface. Okay. Uh, let me select in the blank curve and hide. Uh, now I select in this one, the cut 003, and I go to mirror. And I want to mirror it uh, in the, you can see, the S and Z plan add the Z plan and I click OK now we just fill the other side with the same all right and I also want to mirror this one which is the sweep 002 I click on the sweep 002 and I click also mirror and it's a SC plan and I click OK now we're ready to fill the surface in between I go to the surface workbench and in the surface workbench I click on the filling tool and I just select in sequence but if you move your mouse in here this one has a bit a bit edge so I cannot uh, and also in here a bit edge so I just want a short edge to work with so I go out cancel and let me go back to the prod workbench in the prod workbench, I will control select in the cut 003 and the cut 
Select Gen V2 and this one, this one, and this one. And I go to uh, Union. I click on the Union. And then I have a Fusion. And if I move my mouse over here, you can see um, we have a short edge in here. All right. Now I go back to the surface and I click on the filling tool again and just simply select in sequence. Okay. And then I double click on this edge. Just select in the face and G1 for that. In this case, I just want everything is Z1. And I click OK. And you can see this is the result of um, our patching. Now I show uh, one of these faces up here. And all you need to do is because you can see in this area, this face is not good. So I can draw selecting this face and go to the other side and selecting this face. And I just simply delete it. And again, you just simply using the filling tool and fill in this. Click OK. You click on the surface and go to the prod workbench and mirror this one to the S and Z plan. OK. Now you hit Shift B and select everything. And you go to the curve workbench. In the curve workbench, you click on parameter solid. And this is the final result. Uh, you click on the solid and view and deviation down to 0 0.01. Okay. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.